The plants pictured here are in the genus Echeveria, also known as Echeveria. There may be other common names for individual species, however. Echeverias are one of the most popular succulents to grow as a houseplant, in part due to their small size, even at maturity. Most echeverias will stay under a foot tall and a foot wide. Echeverias form a low-growing rosette on short succulent stems and usually put out a lot of offsets, or pups, as you'll frequently hear them called, creating a clumping or mounding effect. The leaves are thick, succulent, entire, ovate to linear to oblanceolate, although some may be spatulate or strap-shaped, depending on the species, hybrid, or cultivar. They'll have a mucronate leaf apex like aeonium, but they can be differentiated from aeonium by their entire margins, shorter, mounding habit, and thicker, more upright leaves. Most echeverias will have smooth or glabrous leaves, sometimes with a glaucous, waxy coating, and a few may have hairs. Echeverias can come in a wide range of colors and may be multicolored, mottled, variegated, or all of the above, and many will take on a pink or red tinge, especially along the margins, when grown in high light. As a side note, this is another image you should revisit when you finish the unit to see how many different plants you can identify. Here is an absolutely beautiful hybrid called Blue Metal that I found on Etsy. Some Echeverias are like Monsteras, where they can sell for some pretty high prices. This particular plant was $300, and I will fully admit that if my lighting setup would have been better at the time, I probably would have bought it. This is the popular award-winning cultivar of Echeveria rognonii called Topsy-Turvy. Echeverias are polycarpic, so they will flower multiple times. The inflorescence is a cyme or a raceme with five to seven tubular flowers in the carotenoid pigments, usually a combination of pink, orange, or yellow. Here are the flowers getting ready to open on Echeveria setosa. The specific epithet comes from the term setos, which means covered in bristles. And here is a close-up of the characteristic tubular flower. Echeverias are one of the easiest succulents to grow and are great for beginners. They like a well-drained soil with a little more organic matter than some other succulents. When watering them, it's a good idea to make sure they don't dry out completely. Um, a lot of people recommend watering them around once a week during the growing season in the spring and summer. They prefer bright light, but not too much direct sun, which can burn the leaves. However, if the light isn't bright enough, you may lose the beautiful coloration on some of those cultivars and hybrids. Echeveria are listed as safe for pets by the ASPCA. And this concludes our discussion of the genus Echeveria, also known as Echeveria.